In this lesson, I want to talk a bit more about components and I want to show you how to create a component and how to add it to a certain class. So, as you see here, I'm creating a class called Ground Enemy. You might be guessing that I that I will be creating something that flies as well. So that will be, a, I'm calling it a vertical enemy. But there are behaviors that are common to all of these enemies and I want to have I don't want to have to write them many times, I just want to have to write them once and just add them to these different types of enemies. For example, I want to, to have the enemies die when I step on them, when the player steps on them, or on the other hand, if they touch the player on on the left side or on the right side or on the top side of the player, uh, I want the player to die or to be damaged, to lose a life, uh, etc. So for that, I'm going to create a component called common enemy. Those are things that um, all enemies here are going to have. And um, we are going to add that component to our ground enemy class. So I'll do that by creating a component using q.component. And then the name of this component is going to be called common enemy. And you add some some methods, some information here. So what you add is a method called added. So when you add a component, the method called added will get executed and will have access to the object itself. So when I'm creating a ground enemy, say ground enemy one, and I initiate it, if I add the component common enemy the added method of the component common enemy will be executed and I will be able to access the um, the entity in here so let's let's put that in a variable entity this dot entity gives me access to the current object and what I want to do is listen for certain events so we listen to events using on in Quintus and there are events that are predefined <coughs> that have to do with collision detection. You can find information on that on Quintus underscore 2D. And the, what I want to check for is when the player hits one of these enemies on the left side, on the right side, or when it hits them on the bottom, which is basically, say, imagine the enemy is here and I'm jumping and touching the enemy on the bottom, then the player will die, right? So the, end of the events I'm listening for are bump dot left bump dot right and bump dot bottom and this is a collision what I get here is a collision is an object with information about the collision we can do console dot log just to see what we get when these um, collisions occur and the other the other collision that I want to listen for is bump top in which case the enemy should die because it's being killed by the player. You're stepping on them just like in Super Mario. But let's let's first listen to the collision just so I can show you what you get in the console. Well, we're getting multiple collisions. Um, where's the console here? It's somewhere around here. We've basically crashed the console because there's just too many of these events going on at the same time but let, let's then filter just for just when we collide with the player so that we don't get this um, so that we don't get this same thing happening again um, I'm gonna listen then I'm gonna just make sure that uh, if collision dot object is a player those are um, Quintus methods that allow me to check what the type of uh, class this is what type of class I'm colliding with and let's now reload this and have the console open reload again just to have smaller screen alright so see how I'm getting basically that this has um, information about the collision and it gives me access to the object that I'm colliding with in, in which case this is a player So, if I collide with a player, I'm just going to show in the console that I died. 
you died. Now, if a player steps on me, so if the collision is with a player, then the sprite should die, the enemy should die. But before it dies, I want, make, I want to make the player jump again. So I'm going to give it a, some velocity on Y, just so that it sort of bounces it a little bit when you, when you step on an enemy. And then I want to kill the enemy. By that, I'm just doing um, this dot destroy. Let's reload the page. So if I touch one enemy, I died. If I step on them, see how they die and I get that little bouncing. So what we've seen so far in this lesson, we've um, we've learned what a component is, how you can add this component to other classes so I could have something completely different from an enemy but that also responds to players in this manner. And you can check for collision detection by just listening to certain events. And once you collide with something, you can access what you collided with and check whether it's a, an element of a certain type and carry out specific actions accordingly.